Savitri, page 319. There was no more divisions, endless crowd. One grew the spirit's secret unity. All nature felt again the single bliss. There was no cleavage between soul and soul. There was no barrier between world and God. Overpowered were form and memory's limiting line. The covering mind was seized and torn apart. It was dissolved and now no more could be. The one consciousness that made the world was seen. All now was luminosity and force, abolished in its last thin fainting trace. The circle of the little self was gone. The separate being could no more be felt. It disappeared and knew itself no more. Lost in the spirit's wide identity, his nature grew a movement of the all, exploring itself to find that all was he. His soul was a delegation of the all that turned from itself to join the one supreme. Transcended was the human formula, man's heart that had obscured the inviolable, assumed the mighty beating of a God's. His seeking mind ceased in the truth that knows. His life was a flow of the universal life. He stood fulfilled on the world's highest line, awaiting the ascent beyond the world awaiting the descent, the world to save, a splendor and a symbol wrapped the earth. Serene epiphanies looked and hollowed vast, surrendered, wise infinitudes were close, and bright remotenesses leaned near and kin, since failed in the tremendous lucency. Ephemeral voices from his hearing fell, and thought potent no more sank large and pale, like a tired god into mysterious seas.